Hey everybody, Cargo Bike Life. We got the we got the little frame for the bike all stripped down, and now we're gonna clean it. And we also got some other parts that we're gonna work on cleaning, but these parts are not for this bike. Uh, these are for that track that I was going to make the shit hits the fan bicycle out of, but the track I brought the parts home to clean them because. Even though we're not going to be able to build the track bike because the crank is completely missing for the bike and there's other parts that are missing for the bike so we have another bike that we're going to work on for that, uh, a Schwinn. <clears throat> but I want to show you some of the cleaners I use, let me move this up a little bit here, um, for degreasing and stuff I like to use Simple Green. Um, if it's real heavy grease. I got this WD-40 bike degreaser. This works really good. If it's really, really thick, heavy grease, sometimes I'll soak them in some of this awesome orange. And also, just regular dish soap a lot of times works for cleaning things. We're going to start with the fork. I got it in the sink here. Um, I got three different sponges. This one is for something like the fork that's pretty clean already. These are, if something's real greasy, got a toothbrush of course, and then a little cleaning brush. Also a flashlight. You need a flashlight to see down inside of things, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean in a, in a minute. Um, you can see the fork. You see all that dirt right there? I mean, it is heavily soiled with really thick dirt plus the race for the bearings has really thick nasty grease on it hope you can see that hope the lights good what I do for grease like that is I'll take some of this WD-40 uh, bike degreaser and I'll spray it on there and as you can see that that foams up and what you do is you just let it sit on there and foam up and then uh, it'll work on breaking down that grease the other parts we have are I always keep all the parts in little containers uh, we have some brakes and you can I don't know if you can see that let me get my flashlight but inside of there, there's a lot of dirt, grime, and grease. It's just, you know, dirty just from being used. So what I like to do is just put these in the cup and take some of either this or the simple green will work. But a good dousing with that foaming cleaner. And I like to put like, if it has some kind of cup where there's going to be grease held in there, I like to put that part up. And then what I do is I just spray them down, I flip them over, give them a good, good coating. See now everything in there is coated and I'll just leave the lid on while I'm cleaning other parts. Got a bunch of bearings, like look how dirty those bearings are. You see how greasy those are? Those are like super greasy. So, just a little spray. Just let them soak. This fork, I'll take, put a little dish soap on my brush. Give it a good rinse. Still a lot of grease around there.
shake my sponge. Get it nice and wet. That's just for, you know, the general cleaning of the of the fork itself. And then we'll take them back to the shop and we'll we'll use some of that uh, McGuire's Ultimate Compound and we'll get them all shined up real nice. I just want to remove a lot of the just dirt and grime that's on here. Flashlight's good. Like if you got a hole right there and you want to see inside to see if it's clean, which that is not. Run some water through there. The toothbrush. Even though nobody can see in there, I'm just, I got OCD about things being cleaned out. Yeah, it's nice and clean in there now. Scrubbed all the gunk out of it. Just one little piece right there at the bottom. Okay. Now, as you can see, there's still some some grease on there around that part. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it off to the side. And we're going to spray some more of this degreaser on there. And we'll just set it off to the side. And let that soak in. And then we'll get it, we'll get it clean. Now here's the little, little tiny frame. And one part that I always make sure is real clean is inside there. That's where the, the bearings go for the crank, and there is a lot of grease in there. I removed this side. I removed everything out of the crank except that. That bearing race right there. I don't ever take that one out because I don't see the point. I can see clean through there, and I'll spray it with that WD-40 bike degreaser, and I'll get that whole part in there really nice and clean. Just let that soak. Take some of this simple green, spray it on the frame. Just gently, and I use a sponge that's made for uh, Teflon. That way, you know it's not going to scratch the paint up. Because that's, you don't want to take an old bike that's still got pretty good paint on most of it and just scratch it all up. That would just be ridiculous.
Still some grease in there. Probably didn't let this sit long enough. Let that sit up. Now you can see where the bearings have sat there. And look at them now. That stuff sits on there. And you can see it's eating that grease right off of there. Then all you got to do is give them a little rinse. I can take my little toothbrush, a little soap on it, and just start giving them a little brushing. Try not to knock any of them out. And if you're over the sink, it helps to put a little strainer in there. That way, if any of the bearings were to get knocked out, they wouldn't, uh, less chance of them going down the drain. And usually I have some Dawn dish soap. Dawn, Dawn works really well at cutting through all the grease. I think that's some like orange Ajax or something. Then what I always like to check is like inside there, in between the bearings, because this these bearings are in like a little cup, a little retainer, and I like to look in between in the little spaces. That's why I have the flashlight to make sure that there's not old grease all caked up in there. Because when I pack this full of new grease, I don't want it to mix with old grease. And it's still got there's not grease in between it, but there's still grease on the body of it. The other thing you want to check for is you want to roll the bearings around and look and see if they have any flat spots in them. If they have any flat spots, then you're going to have to replace them. These bearings are all looking pretty good, except the little bit of grease that's still left on them. Try some simple green. What would be really nice is if you had a parts cleaner like uh, they have in auto shops. That would be like super nice. I just don't have to have one. What I'm doing as I'm scrubbing this is I'm just using my bottom fingers here to just turn it so I can get all the way around it. So I want to get every, sur every surface on it cleaned up. And right now, with the bicycle part shortage, there is any parts that you can salvage and hold on to. Like, these will never go back in that track. Because like I said, that, that track is not going to be rebuilt because there's too much of it missing. So, like, I'll clean these bearings and I'll keep them because whoever knows when I might get another bike where the bearings are ruined and I need some bearings. But let's say I go to the shop and because of the bicycle part shortage from this COVID crap, Maybe they don't have any, but this is a perfectly good caged bearing. And if you look at it compared to the other, you can see how much grease and dirt and grime I've removed from it. Now it's just a serviceable part I, I have that I can just put, put up at the shop. And when I need it, I have it. And like loose bearings, I got loose bearings in there too. I just leave them soak. I see those ones over there still got a little grease. And I'll just let them soak some more. And then what I like to do with them is get all the other parts out of there clean, leave them for last, and then I let the water fill up till it overflows. Take a little 
rag, put it out, dump the bearings on it, and just kind of fold the rag in half, and then like roll the bearings, and that removes all the grease from them. It's, it's very simple. But that's just some basic parts cleaning. I also don't remove these bearing cups on the headset. I don't have the proper tool to do it, and there's just a lot of grease in there, but I can scrub it right out. And as far as the rust that's on the outside and the old grease, I'll get all that off. And then this thing will be all cleaned up because there's like some heavy residual grease on there. And there's also some rust. But I'll, I'll take care of all that. But I just wanted to show you the basic procedures that I use when I, when I clean bikes. Like this fork, you can see how much shinier it is now. All the old green crap that was on there like on the top of this tube I, I don't know if you can see that but there's a lot of dirt and grime on there it's just nasty nasty dirt and before I buff that paint out I want all that removed you see my thumb how dirty it is now it's like it looks like something that sat under a tree to me but I got the bike stripped we'll get it all cleaned up We'll take this back to the shop, we'll buff it up, we'll, then we'll bring all the parts for it here. I'll get them all cleaned up, and once I get them all cleaned up, then I'll film the entire reassembly of the bike so that you can see it all going back together. And I was thinking for these little paint chips right here, what I might do is carry the fork into like um, maybe a dollar store or Walmart, so somewhere where they sell... Um, nail polish. I was thinking maybe uh, nail polish could be used to fill in the little marks. It's probably not going to be a perfect match, but I think nail polish is like an enamel because it's pretty hard once it dries. So I was figuring if I can get something close to this, I could use a little nail polish in those little holes because you don't want to leave them because any place, like these are down to, the, the little dings are down to bare metal. And what I'll do is I'll just lightly scuff them with some uh, sandpaper and then just put nail polish on them as close a match as I can get not to try to trick anybody I mean I, when I sell this I'll tell the person you know it had scratch things and dents and I'll point out where I put the nail polish but just to protect the frame because this is, this is a steel frame and I don't want it to rust through at any point so that's basically all the All there is to clean it, I mean, just you got to get it really nice and clean before you reassemble it. I don't, I don't want to just like wipe it off with some water and a rag and just put it all back together. I want it thoroughly clean. I want it shining. I want it all like new. Um, we'll do another video uh, when I get ready to do the rims and get all the rust off. I'll show you how I do that. Cargo bike life out. You all be careful. Ride safe.